In this video, I will continue with higher order derivatives from unit 3 calculus. Here I will discuss about derivatives of implicit functions. Now before seeing the derivatives of implicit functions, we will see what are implicit functions. Now let us consider two equations x plus y plus 8 equal to 0 and e raised to xy plus x minus y equal to say a where a is a constant. Now if we consider 1 we are able to write y as y is equal to minus of x plus when we are able to express y as a function of x, that is, when we can express y explicitly as a function of x, then such functions are called explicit functions. On the other hand, if we take equation 2 here, it is of the form f of x comma y is equal to 0. Here, we cannot express y as a function of x. So, such functions are called implicit functions. So, if we, if we want to find the derivatives of implicit functions of this form, which is of the form f of x comma y is equal to 0, then we have to differentiate both sides with respect to x and collect all the terms with dy by dx and we have to write dy by dx as a function of x and y. Now we will see some problems. Find dy by dx if 2x square plus 5xy plus 3y square equal to 1. So here we have to write differentiating with respect to x. On both sides. So now we have to perform ordinary differentiation. So d by dx of this whole function. So it will be 4x plus 5y plus 5x into dy by dx plus 6y into dy by dx equal to 0. So, the derivative of 2x square is 4x. The derivative of 5xy is 5y into d by dx of x. So, it is 5y plus 5x into the derivative of y is dy by dx. Then we have 3y square. Derivative of 3y square is 6y into dy by dx. Using chain rule, we have to differentiate this 3y square as 6y into derivative of y that is 6y into dy by dx. Now we can write dy by dx into 5x plus 6y is equal to minus of 4x plus 5y. So dy by dx equal to minus of 4x plus 5y divided by 5x plus 6. So this is how we have to find dy by dx for implicit functions. Next question, find dy by dx if x cube plus y cube equal to a. 3a xy. So differentiating both sides with respect to x. So when we differentiate both sides with respect to x, we get 3x square plus 3y square dy by dx is equal to 3a into y plus x dy by dx. Now here 3 is common. So we can cancel 3, then we can, can collect all the terms with dy by dx. So dy by dx into y square minus ax 
equal to ay minus x square. So dy by dx is equal to ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax. Next question, find dy by dx, xy is equal to e raised to x minus y. Here when we have functions of this form, we have to take log on both sides and then we have to find dy by dx. So taking log on both sides, we get log xy equal to log of e raised to x minus y. We know that log of e raised to x to the base e equal to x. So here and also log of a b is log a plus log b. So log x y can write it as log x plus log y equal to log of e raised to x minus y will be x minus y. Now we can differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we get 1 by x plus 1 by y dy by dx is equal to 1 minus dy by x. So dy by dx into 1 by y plus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 by x. Or let us take LCM. 1 plus y by y into dy by dx is equal to x minus 1 by so therefore dy by dx is equal to y into x minus 1 divided by x into y plus so when we cross multiply we get dy by dx is equal to y into x minus 1 divided by x into y plus 1. Next question, find dy by dx of the following function at the point 0, 2. So we have to find dy by dx and substitute x as 0 and y as 2 and then find the value of dy by dx at that point. So differentiating both sides with respect to x we get 4x plus 3y plus 3x dy by dx equal to 2y, I'm sorry, plus 2y dy by dx equal to 0. So dy by dx into 3x plus 2y equal to minus of 4x plus 3y. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus of 4x plus 3y divided by 3x plus 2y. So, at 0, 2, dy by dx is equal to minus 4 into 0 is 0 plus 3 into 2 divided by 3 into 0 is 0 plus 2 into so it is equal to minus 6 by 4 or it is equal to minus 3 by 2. Next question find d square y by dx square. So here we have to find the second order derivative of y. Given x cube plus y cube equal to a cube. So differentiating both sides with respect to x. So we get 3x square plus 3y square dy by dx equal to 0. Because it, since a is a constant, if 
the derivative of a cube is 0. So 3 is common, we can cancel. So y square dy by dx equal to minus x square. Therefore dy by dx is minus x square by y square. Now we have to find d square y by dx square. d square y by dx square equal to d by dx of minus x square by y square. So the second order derivative is the derivative of dy by dx. So it is the derivative of minus x square by y square. So this is equal to, it is of the form d by dx of u by v. So it means denominator we should have v square, that is y square the whole square. And in the numerator we have v is y square, v into derivative of the numerator. So y square into 2x minus x square into derivative of the denominator. 2y into dy by dx. So this is equal to denominator will be y raised to 4. Here it is 2xy square minus 2x square y into dy by dx is minus of x square by y square. Minus of x square by y square. So, here 1y will go. So, here we will have, it is plus 2x raised to 4 by y. So, let us take LCM. So, this is equal to minus of 2xy cube plus 2x raised to 4 by y by y raised to 4. So, this is equal to minus of 2x cube plus 2x raised to 4 divided by y raised to 5. So, d square y by dx square equal to minus 2xy cube plus 2x raised to 4 divided by y raised to 5. Next question, if e raised to y into x plus 1 equal to 1, show that e square y by dx square equal to dy by dx the whole square. So, it is given e raised to y into x plus 1 equal to 1. Here, let us take log. Taking log on both sides. So, we get log of e raised to y into x plus 1 equal to log 1. So, this is equal to, here it is the product of e raised to y into x plus 1. So, we can write log e raised to y plus log of x plus 1. Plus log of x plus 1 equal to 0. Since we know that log 1 is 0. Here log of e raised to y is y plus log of x plus 1 equal to 0. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get dy by dx plus 1 by x plus 1 equal to 0 or dy by dx is equal to Minus 1 by plus 1. Now we will find d square y by dx square. d square y by dx square is equal to d by dx of 
minus 1 by x plus 1. So this is equal to the derivative of minus 1 by x plus 1 will be here let this minus be outside. The derivative of minus 1 by x plus 1 is minus 1 by x plus 1 the whole square. So minus of minus 1 is plus 1. So it is 1 by x plus 1 the whole square. We can write this as minus 1 by x plus 1 this whole square. Since minus 1 the whole square is equal to plus 1. So this is equal to dy by dx the whole square. Since here we have dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by x plus 1. So we got d square y by dx square is equal to dy by dx the whole square. Therefore, d square y by dx square is equal to dy by dx the whole square. Next question, find dy by dx of the following function. x raised to y plus y raised to x equal to 1. Now when we have questions of this form, we have to take let u is equal to x raised to y and v is equal to y raised to x. So which means u plus v equal to 1. Now we we'll differentiate both sides. We get du by dx plus dv by dx equal to 0. Now we will take u is equal to x raised to y and then find du by dx. Then v is equal to y raised to x. Then find dv by dx. And then we will find dy by dx. Now, u is equal to x raised to y. So taking log, we get log u is equal to y log x. Then differentiating this with respect to x. Differentiating with respect to x, we get 1 by u, du by dx is equal to log x into dy by dx plus y into 1 by x. Or we have du by dx is equal to u into log x dy by dx plus y by x. Now we know that u is x raised to y. So x raised to y into log x dy by dx plus y by x. Or let us take x raised to y inside the bracket. So it is x raised to y log x dy by dx plus here x raised to y into y by x will be x raised to y by x is x raised to y minus 1. So plus x raised to y minus 1 into y. So we got du by dx as this function. Now let us find dv by dx. v is equal to y raised to x. So taking log we have log v is equal to x log y. Now differentiating with respect to x 
we have 1 by v dv by dx is equal to log y into derivative of x is 1 plus x into derivative of log y is 1 by y dy by dx. So we have dv by dx is equal to v into log y plus x by y dy by dx. V let us substitute as y raised to x. So this is equal to y raised to x into log y plus x by y dy by dx. So when we take this y raised to x inside, it will be y raised to x log y plus y raised to x by y. That will be y raised to x minus 1 into x dy by dx. So after simplifying, we get dv by dx is equal to y raised to x log y plus x into y raised to x minus 1 into dy by dx. Now, we have du by dx plus dv by dx equal to 0. Let us mark this as equation 1. We already got du by dx as x raised to y log x into dy by dx plus x raised to y minus 1 into y. That we will substitute for du by dx and we just now got dv by dx. So, let us substitute and equate it to 0 and then find dy by dx. So, du by dx is x raised to y log x dy by dx plus y into x raised to y minus 1 plus dv by dx is y raised to x log y plus x into y raised to x minus 1 dy by dx equal to 0. Or we have dy by dx into x raised to y log x plus x into y raised to x minus 1 equal to minus of y raised to x log y plus y into x raised to y minus 1. So from this we get dy by dx is equal to minus of y raised to x log y plus y into x raised to y minus 1 divided by x raised to y log x plus x into y raised to x minus 1. So this is dy by dx. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.